Thai buses. We are going to start our adventure of cafe hopping, but first, we're going to go stop at Ekamai for to get a few shirts uh, for good price. And also, after that, we'll be tasting uh, one of the noodle shops which I've always really wanted to try for a long time. So, my friend here will stay in the back, too. He's coming along. Um, also, the, this video is actually mainly is cafe hopping, but uh, we're going to eat lunch first because we haven't had lunch and then we're gonna go one of the cafe which I've never been so it's called the wall wallflower cafe I think so yeah take my first and then we'll eat first it's completely empty so we're gonna get off here now guys to Ekamai well, I just finished shopping at Ekamai Gateway guys so I got what I needed got uh three pair of uh, three t-shirts so really good price 448 baht for three 149 by each so yeah all good so now i'm gonna get some lunch at emporium one of the stores down there so can't wait to try that uh we're gonna get a bus save money shouldn't be too much people on the road right now so yeah let's see how that goes how bad it is we just got off the bus guys we're heading to the noodle shop now which is somewhere on the right so it really quick journey um no traffic at all so gonna find uh, the new shop if we can uh, not sure what it's called I forgot the name actually so it was like somewhere on the right side here uh, yeah so everything here looks pretty quiet so I don't think it's not that far from uh, from my where I can see I should have done a map but not sure how far around it is so I think we'll find a way eventually Okay guys, so I found the noodle shop. It's called uh, Rum Ruen Noodle Shop. Uh, you come into Seoul and it's around 150 meters on the right side. So keep an eye out for that. Not many people here as you can see. So it looks pretty good. So I got uh, the chrysanthemum tea. And say what do you get man? What did you get? Rosella. What, what tea did you get? Rosella juice. So say it's got the Rosella juice. How was it so far? You tasted it yet? I haven't tasted it yet. Can I try one a bit? Can I try a bit? Not bad. Not bad. It's like Rosetta, right? Yeah. And I got this chrysanthemum. So we actually ordered... The most popular one is actually the tom yum and the pork soup. So we got this one, two of them. Uh, not feeling too much spicy at the moment. And we got the egg noodles too. And also... The drinks we got is the chrysanthemum and Tay got the Roselle juice. So yeah, so we're gonna wait for the food and see how it tastes and I'll tell you guys what it's like. So yeah. So tasted the chrysanthemum tea. It's not sweet at all, which is great. And I was gonna try the Thai iced tea. So they're all 20 baht each, which is a pretty good deal. And we got also the minced pork soup. We're gonna share that between uh, say and I and also uh, different sizes of noodles where you can get basically small, medium, large as well so yeah looks pretty good and this is what the, the food has looks like when it comes here good decent size looks really nice what do you think man looks good? yeah it looks great not bad actually it's 50, 60, 70 baht so can't really say about that good price too so we're gonna taste and see what it's like I'll just give you guys a uh, I'll be back in a minute. Alright, so we're gonna get in the frame. Here's the soup taste. Not bad, not too salty. But I didn't put anything else inside. I think the soup is here, the one that we share. Pretty good. It was like fish, right? I forgot, it's like fish on the inside. I did never eat this, but. Actually, I don't really need this, but I just try it here. Uh, pieces of meat. So, yeah. Soup's good. Love the tea, not too sweet. Say, say, how long is it so far? Out of 10, what do you give? 8 10 really? What about the it's price? The price and the portion? What? The price. That's like 50, 60, 70 baht. I would say 70 baht. It's good, right? Yeah. It's a good deal.
place and restaurants which I want to show you guys, which uh, I've never been to also, it's my first time. And maybe it's always good to discover new places. And so I just looked in the map, saw from my IG stories, and I thought maybe what, give this place a try. There's not a lot of people here also. I do see like me, myself, say, and like two other people. So not busy. A lot of deliveries. Uh, a lot of deliveries also. So I guess you probably have to be waiting like quite a lot in line. It feels like a lot of people. But it's around 2.30 in the afternoon, so it's not bad. Alright guys, so just a short change of plans. We're gonna head off uh, to the Starbucks place. Uh, don't explain it. It's a unique type of Starbucks. So a lot of people go there to take photos. I never went to take photos. I think I ordered one coffee, so... It's on the way to the wall ca uh, Wallflower Cafe, so why not? Uh, we're gonna do a bit of it's a bit of it's a bit of a walk also, and then after taking a few photographs there, we're gonna uh, take a bus. I'm not sure what number, but then the plan was that we're gonna get a underground MRT train, so and then we walk a little bit to the Wallflower uh, Cafe. So that's going on now.